What's up guys, welcome back to another Dummy Tech Talks. In this one we will be unboxing a VoxLab Aquila 2 3D printer. And uh, I have my neighbor Jackson here who actually knows a little bit more about 3D printers than I do because I know pretty much nothing. Uh, he got one a little while ago and he can give us a little bit more insight than I can on these kinds of things. Yeah, thanks for having me guys. Like, yeah, happy to have you on man. Without further ado, should we just dive in? Yes. Alright, <laughs> sounds good. Let's do it. Tells us some information. Oh, 115 volts. That's, which, that's which, very helpful. That's good to know. <laughs> wow. Yes, it has a lot. Wow, there's a whole lot in here. Hey, here's the here's the filament it came with. Never seen filament like that. That's kind of neat. It's red. PLA, okay. Yeah. Transparent red. They only gave me one. We, I don't know what any of this is. A couple of motors. Here's the screen. This, this is like part of the extruder. And screws. spare screws. Oh, the actual extruder. That's the build plate, right? Yeah, it looks like it. A little scraper. Oh yeah, the, the carrying handle, of course. <laughs> Why would you not want to bring your 3D printer everywhere when it's super noisy and everyone's gonna shout at you? <laughs> like, why not? All right, so that's everything. Uh, looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Uh, how long did it take you to put yours together? Um, it took me about an hour to put mine together. All right, well, since you've already got some experience, maybe we'll be able to cut that down a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Step two, install the Z-axis motor. Okay, so that's that's that silver motor and then the rod. Now we're gonna take this heavy thing. Almost all the big parts are done. Are done. Yeah, almost all. Installing the synchronous belt. So these are gonna go in there like that. Okay. Put the screws in the holes that line up. Okay, so this goes through here. And this goes through that. Neat. So let's do the handle first. Get the handle. And then those four screws. The big ones.
All right, well, let's uh, see if it works, right? Power's on. All right, we got power. I don't have any idea how it works, so I'm gonna have to continue reading the instructions, which for a lifesaver, because I don't know anything about this. It's a little different than Jackson, so he helped a ton. So what, what, what do I do from here? Uh, so you put the roll right there. So it has a natural curve to one side and pressure to the side. Um, and you'll put the tank at the end of it you know, um, and feed it through okay. a little back part right here. Okay. Feed it through there. You should always just feed the filament right through until you can see it coming out of the nozzle. Okay. Also, don't touch the nozzle or get that close to it. Yeah, it's supposed to be hot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So. It's definitely not the coldest thing ever. You should have like the print, it'll ask for like an SD card or on some yeah, 3D cool. printers like this, this little thing right here, um, you'll hook that up to your computer if you don't have an SD card. All right. You'll just hook that up to your computer and use that. You always need to make sure it's a level bed. You can watch a few YouTube videos on that because okay. we don't really know how to level this bed. There's a bunch of these like wheels and stuff. Yeah, like the left should loosen it up and the right should go back to normal. The cables it didn't say anything about them in the, in the manual, so we had to end up taking the handle back off, rerun the cables, and then we put it back on. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but it would have been nice to have it all done right the first time. <laughs> All in all, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna to try to get something going on it later on and uh, yeah. just see what happens. I will put a link to this in the description. I did get it from Amazon along with the film and I'll throw that in there too. If y'all like that video, please hit the like button. It helps us out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to see more content in the future. And share this video if, if you thought it was helpful or you know somebody who would benefit from this. This is a new and exciting thing for me. Jackson, thank you for being a part of this video. It's uh, been a real big help, man. Thank you. Thank you. Till next time.